So hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, currently in cottage country, so I'm just kind of west of Algonquin um, Provincial Park, which is one of the largest parks in Canada. It's about twice the size of Cornwall, I think. Um, so that's pretty big. So I'm about a 20, 25 minute drive from it. Um, but at the moment I'm in like cottage country, they call it in Canada. Um, it's quite a remote spot. Um, just coming through this beautiful woodland here. A lot of trees have lost a lot of leaves there, um, but it's still quite a nice scene as the road's going down through and behind me there, as you can see all around, it's really quite nice with the leaves. Very sort of similar colors in here um, and quite a young, looks like quite a young forest. Um, gonna get a few shots as I go down through and um, yeah, just enjoy the fall colors really. Something I've never really concentrated on. So today I've got my uh, Canon 5DSR and I've got the 16 to 35 F4 IS lens there. I'm hoping to get some nice scenes going down through. It's a bit different for me really. Don't really do a lot of landscape, um, but it is nice just to grab a, a relatively light bag and uh, just head out and see what I can see in my own way and capture some nice memories really. Um, but the wildlife side of things, although I'm in bear country at the moment with moose and all sorts, it's a needle in a hell of a big haystack you know, I'm here for a week with a family and I can't spend a week in a forest um, waiting for bears and moose and stuff and deer and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm just taking the opportunity to enjoy this quiet place away from the busy city. And it's absolutely lovely. I'm played with bugs, mind. But um, so, yeah, I'm going to set up the scene here, take a few shots, maybe do a bit of focus stacking as well. Um, just see how I go, really. I'm trying to find some unique compositions here and I've um, got a nice bit of fungus on this um, maple tree there and this is quite a young young um, saplings growing up through the trees it's quite nice there's not a lot of wind today as well and it's overcast which is great so it stops, stops washing all those um, those colors and that um, get that less contrasty light but it's quite nice in here there's minimal movement and I got that fungus as a bit of a focal point in this tree with a crack up through it and then obviously taking a series of three shots, um, just getting that um, depth of field right and get everything in focus. But apart from uh, someone working down on a boat on the lake here, it's pretty quiet. Something a bit different for me guys really. Um, and as you can hear, apart from the noisy boat, it's not a lot of bird life. There's one, but it's really, really quiet at the moment. You know, it's so difficult. And all this land to the left and to the right of me is all privately owned. Where I am at the moment, um, got a lovely cottage on the, on the lake and um, 
but all the land surrounding it and in the area is all private. There's signs everywhere saying no hunting, no shooting, hunting only, private, no trespass. It's signs are everywhere. Um, so you've got to abide by that. This is a, a through road a track that goes to a dead end. There's a couple of houses down there um, on the lake, but, but that's pretty much it. But this is pretty much as far as I can go, um, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, you know, it is what it is, but still just enjoying the colors and the trees, getting mobbed by flies, but uh, yeah, still really nice. So I'm pretty good at my fungus at home, but I'm not so good with fungus elsewhere, but got some really interesting fungus. Doesn't really smell of much, just very earthy, but I think we'll get a couple of shots of these. taking a series of three shots of three fungus um, in the portrait aspect, hoping just to get that nice um, depth of field for all three. Got a nice J calling, blue J. Really busy at the minute collecting um, food for the fall, the winter. I've got the Canon 100 to 500 with me just in case really hard to photograph but yeah lovely spending time with these brilliant So guys, it's really nice just to go out and do something a little bit different from time to time, surrounded by this beautiful forest, loads of lovely colours. It's very quiet, apart from someone working on a boat, I think, down the bottom. Um, and it echoes in this um, like valley, it's, uh, but it's beautiful. There are a few bird species twitting around. Um, but it's nice just to do a bit of you know, landscape, the fall colours, a few fungus, colour of the leaves. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. The coloration you get in here in, uh, in, in North America is amazing. Colors at home are still beautiful, but certainly here with um, a lot of the leaves falling in now and not just the way all the leaves carpet the floor, it's beautiful. So we're gonna have a mooch on a bit further. Um, see what's about um, and then just make my way back. There's a few bridges and a, a nice bit of lake there. I'd love to get down to the to the foreshore there, but sadly, there's a few properties along here, but they're all private, and I haven't got access to go and look across the lake, which is like a mill pond today, and with the lovely colours on the opposite side. Um, I'm hoping maybe someone will drive past and say, "Do you want to come down and take a picture on my uh, um, at my property on the lake?" That would be great. <laughs> In exchange for an image, I could give them. Um, probably not going to happen but I'll see if I can get down the way and maybe I could just have a look down and maybe get set up and get some shots um, it's great to be out using uh, the 5DSR absolutely cracking camera um, 
I said to many of you before, I really loathe to get rid of that when I was upgrading from the DX2, sold all my DSLR kit to buy the R3 and um, saw that one. Absolutely mint condition and took 246 pictures in its life with a brand new grip, box, everything. Yeah, fantastic. Um, not going to let that one go in a hurry. Uh, but yeah, for, for landscape, portrait, macro, in the right light, it's a great camera. I've just taken a few shots down through as that road bends round at the bottom there and uh, colours are quite nice here. Um, I've just put on the 70 to 200 there f4 just to get tightened on some of the leaves um, hopefully just get um, pick out that sort of coloration really I've just changed from the 16 to 35 but uh, yeah gonna carry on down through have a little um, trip through the forest I think just have a look around see if we can find any funguses and stuff like that Keep this 7200 on for a little bit and see how we get on. It's got this cracking little view down through here. Um, with some of the nice trees there in a kind of nice red leaf with a few orange, a few green. Nice bit of reflection in the water and nice bit of leaf flowing across the um, top of the water there. So I've just taken two shots there. Gotta re compose, focus in. Okay, two second timer. That's three shots taken, so I'm gonna photo stack. Gone from the close point, middle point, furthest point, and hopefully that'll come out all right. So I've just gone from a really, really nice composition down through the um, lane there. As the trees coming down, some of the nice leaves fall in there. Nice carpet all the way through, and that nice copper colour all the way through there. So hopefully they've come out okay. So guys, that pretty much concludes my video for today. I've really, really enjoyed getting out um, in the wilds here in Canada, you know, just enjoying the, uh, the fall colors, um, you know, seeing those changing colors from reds to oranges to yellows, the green still on some of them, capturing those colors along some of the tracks. Absolutely fantastic. A few fungus species as well as a few birds as well. I'm glad I took the uh, 100 to 500 with me with the R3 just to capture some jays capture some red squirrel, some chipmunk, a um, bit of fungus as well with the 5DSR. Really good to get that camera out and try out my new 16 to 35 as well, which I'm really pleased with. And I did a few tight shots with the 70 to 200. But I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Lots coming from me. Be a video every week, every Saturday, usual time. Um, and hopefully I'll be bringing you a in the field video every other week and maybe in between that a review as well. So hopefully four videos a month. But uh, if you guys want me to concentrate on anything, please let me know in the vlog description below. If you enjoyed it today, please also give me a like and a thumbs up. It's appreciated. And if you guys don't um, subscribe to the channel, please click that all important subscribe button and uh, you'll see a few vlogs coming out from me. So guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.